During the recent Verticon show in Dallas, Texas, Airbus Helicopters unveiled its newest family member, the H-140. It's meant to bridge what it sees as a gap between the H-135 and H-145 light twin family. We were listening to our customers and the feedback of our customers on the 135 is it's a perfect aircraft, but the size of the cabin is a bit small and it might have a bit more performance uh, to execute their mission. So the H140 is positioned in between the H135 and the H145. It is uh, what the 130 is to the 125. Airbus sees the model as a perfect fit for emergency medical services with an increase of 20% in available cabin space over the H-135, unobstructed by center or door posts. Cabin volume is just more than 215 cubic feet, excluding space for the pilot. The helicopter will be certified under EASA CS27 and FAA FAR27 requirements being at the top end of the small rotorcraft designation with a maximum takeoff weight of 6,895 pounds, which is 429 pounds more than the H-125. Airbus said this will translate into elevated useful load and performance specifications that, although largely undisclosed for now, will include a maximum speed of 155 knots. Standout features include a five-blade rotor system and a T-tail. With the H140, we are introducing innovations from our demonstrators we tested in the past. And on the H140, we were introducing the five-bladed rotor and the T-tail. Five-bladed rotor brings a very smooth ride, so it eliminates the vibrations in the airframe. And the T-tail increases the performance of the helicopter significantly, mainly in hovering conditions. So you can say roughly 80 kilos by pushing the vertical stabilizer to the tail. A new Safran Arius 2ES engine will deliver around 7% more power for the same fuel burn at maximum continuous power than the current Arius 2B2 plus turboshaft. In the cockpit, the H140 will feature the same Helionics avionics suite as its siblings. We started flight testing in mid of 2023. And since then, uh, we made a lot of progress in the flight test program and the aircraft behaves as we expected. So we are actually in production of the next prototype and we are entering the certification campaign of the helicopter. We expect type certification in 28, following with entry into service in 28 as well. After EASA certification, FAA validation, along with commercial air transport use case approvals, are expected to follow in 2029.